Here we want to see how to use the prime factorization of numbers in order to quickly find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of any given two numbers. So I'm going to do examples with 108 and 168. So we start off by finding the prime factorizations of these numbers and we can do this with the factor trees. So remember with factor trees we just find any two um, factors of that number that multiply together to give it. So here um, I've got 12 times 9, it's in the 9 times tables. And then I keep on breaking down until I get to prime. So 12 goes to 3 times 4, 4 goes to 2 times 2, and the 9 is 3, 3. And then with 168, um, I can start by, maybe I know that it's even, so I'll do 2, and I can see that half of that is 84. And then for 84, I've got 12 times 7, and 12 again goes into 4 times 3, and 2 times 2. <clears throat> so the prime factorizations I get for these two numbers are, uh, let me write them out, so for 108, it's equal to um, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Or in exponential form, that would be 2 squared times 3 cubed. <clears throat> and then 168 in its prime factorization is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. Or in its prime factorization, we've got 2 to the 3 times 3 times 7 in its exponential form. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've got the prime factorization, um, I might just get rid of this. <coughs> and so <clears throat> I remember what I keep in mind is that all the factors of 108 are made up from combinations of these 2's and 3's. So for example, one of the factors of 108, as we saw before, is 12. 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. So you see it grabs the two 2's and a 3. Another factor of 108 is, say, um, 54. <coughs> and 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And so it uses one of the 2's and 3 for 3. So, all of the factors of 108 are some combination of up to two twos and up to three threes, whereas all the factors of 168 are some combination of up to three twos, a three, and a seven. <clears throat> so I use um, that fact in order to say, okay, so I need um, my highest common factor of these two numbers needs to have um, a prime factorization that's present in both of these numbers. So to be a factor of both of these numbers, its prime factorization has to be all, all here. So what we do, I mean the upshot of all this, is we can make pairs. So I go through and I can pair off these twos. So my highest common factor is going to include two in its prime factorization. I can make another pair of 2's, like this, and so there'll be another 2 in the prime factorization. I can't make any more pairs of 2's, but I can make a pair of 3's, 3 here and here, and so that will be in the highest common factor, and that's as far as I can go. So <clears throat> I can't make any more pairs, so this must be the highest common factor, and so the result is 12. <clears throat> um, there are no other numbers so that would have their prime factorizations in both of these numbers. Okay, now when we come to the lowest common multiple, so that's the highest common factor, when we come to the lowest common multiple, what I recognize is that all the multiples of 108 have this in their prime factorization. So we're going in the other direction. I mean, if you look, let's have a look at a few of the multiples of 108. There's 108, and then 216, and then 324. <clears throat> so 216 is 2 times 2 times 2 
times 3 times 3 times 3. So you see it's just 2 times, and then this part here is our 108. And then 324 is just 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And one more <coughs> times 3. And so for 324, this is um, my 108, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, and then it's the third multiple. So <coughs> all of the multiples of 108 have to have at least two twos and three threes, and that's how we know that 108 will be one of their factors. <coughs> so what I do for the lowest common multiple of these numbers is I start with one of the prime factorizations. So I'm going to start with the smaller one in this case, so 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I start with um, this number is 108, and then so no matter what I add multiplying here, no matter what I multiply this by, I know that my result will be a multiple of 108. So I just need to make sure that it's also going to be a multiple of 168. And so all I need to do is add in the things that are in 168 that aren't already here. So I've already got two of the twos from 168, they're there, and I've already got this three there. So I just need to add on this two and this seven, <coughs> and whatever this number is will be my multiple of um, my lowest common multiple of 108 and 168. So if I rearrange it um, just so that I've got everything in order, so it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 7, which um, as a grand result, just let me get a calculator, that would be 1,512. So my lowest common multiple is 1,512, and my highest common factor is 12. And so you can see with, you know, with numbers of this size, um, using this method, uh, probably much more preferable than writing out all of their multiples until we find one in common, or even of listing all of their factors until we find one in common. Okay, good luck.